Regis University admits that it paid a ransom to get its computer system back following a cyber attack. Good evening. It is our top story tonight. I'm Karen Lee. I'm Jim Benham. And workers at Regis explained the attack to 100 cybersecurity professionals today. It did cripple the school's computer system when it needed it most. Investigator Rick Sounder live from Regis where it says it certainly has learned a big lesson here. It has, Karen. Reaches paid up, but the state of Colorado did not when its CDOT computers were struck with a ransomware attack last year. So we wanted to know what was the difference? Why did one pay and the other didn't? Just as students were moving back in for the school year last August, the Regis computer system was hit by a crippling ransomware attack. It's just crazy. We're like a small university. We kind of keep to ourselves, like, and they just come for us. With the backup data gone, it was faced with no good choice. The university paid the undisclosed ransom. Question is, what's it going to take to get yourself back up? Um, and operational. How you know? How secure are you? Uh, how long is it going to take you to recover? Now, some 160 people, representing companies, the government, and academics, took part learning and sharing how to deal with such attacks. The criminals already have their community on the dark web, and they're working together. We need to do the same thing. Regis was not alone in being hit. I don't know if we can prevent it, but we're in a healthier state. Deborah Blythe is the state of Colorado's you know, chief information time, security officer. It too is hit with a ransomware attack, but refused to pay. Its CDOT computers had backup files, and they were able to restore them. Two Iranian men were indicted last year for the attack. They remain at large. I think that at some point they'll probably go on vacation to a country that's friendly to U.S. extradition, and that's when they'll be caught. She can only hope. In the wake of all this, Regis has joined together its computer science and business programs so they can learn from one another how to deal with issues like this. At Regis University, Rick Salinger, covering Colorado First.